Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nesha and we are creating a map for city skylines. Today we're gonna work on the volcano, I'm just gonna tell you when I'm doing, done between episodes, just so you can, uh, if you're watching these old episodes, you can see what ha has happened between episodes. Uh, I've smoothed this out, make it more round, and I worked a lot on the water features here. I leveled it out here so the water doesn't get caught as easily, so it will go all the way to the ocean, and it works. Okay, it could be better, but it could be better. I also um, worked on this feature, uh, added a bit more mountain-like. It's just a sketch, but I'm still still working on how to make this part better. And uh, yes, that will be a lot of work. But before I do that, we will go to the main feature of this episode, which is adding uh, a volcano ridge around this main area, which I think where you will build all the, uh, your houses and stuff. The main part in a round nice feature here that is the center uh, between four tiles. So um, the thing is that my sketches doesn't really help me here. So, but I can still use uh, some of these and sketch to one part, making some of the groundwork otherwise will take some time just to level that. So I'm gonna uh, actually smooth it all out and then then we will start working on it. Uh, so we will get a big brush uh, with a smooth edge. Let's hear it. how big we need. Okay. So let's start smoothing this out. This will destroy any detail here, but it doesn't really matter because my sketch didn't really work out as I had hoped to. So let's try to pull it out here. And we went on a lot of volcano ridges in a, this uh, series, but I think it's one of the main features of my map. So, and I'm just gonna show you how fast it goes uh, when you are uh, actually have big features to work with. It, it goes a lot faster than uh, usual because otherwise you have to always go within the small brushes and stuff here. Here we can go very big which would make it very fast um, but it, we can still go in and do some detail work but it's actually easier to work with a bigger mountains because yes, has bigger mountains, bigger features, uh, big aesthetic features so uh, I think I will pull up the strength a bit here so so we will use this flat uh, area we have created here, so we, at least we can get, can get that back. So, uh, let's just smooth that out. Let's go another, let's go just another one. But we will keep this here as a sketch, so we can have a round circle. It's not completely round. It is um, by choice, uh, because we wanted to it's never completely round, so but it's at least roundish here. So let's see. So let's pull this out. Okay, cool. All these uh, lines kind of confuse you from the target, but we can see that we have. Um, smoothing this out and we got a nice slope. At least the sketch did work in that part because we got a natural slope with how uh, the volcano ridge will work so we don't have to do all that groundwork with the level 2. Um, however, I think I want to go fill it in a bit here so we get a more pronounced uh, ridge so it's more visible. If I'm not, I'm not sure if you use pronounced in that way. Okay, so let's go with brush 95 and we will go with go with that one grab grab it, grab a value here we want to be into, we want the, the highest part of this is designed to be around 400 so if we drag grab grab here then we will and then we will just paint it in with a lower strength i think we want to go first uh, first and then we just start painting it in is that a... I think we wanted it to be actually bigger. So now we can paint that in again. So if we follow on the ridge here, 
it doesn't really matter if it's not perfect uh, because yes it looks just better if it's something is just an even height that's why I put it at further strength uh, let's see just We will work around here a bit. So we get the ridge. I'm 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 fine with it. It's not being perfectly round because uh, it's a volcano ridge. It's, of course, it will not be perfectly round. That will be weird. Okay, so. And by using third strength, we also get some variation, so uh, that will help us be out a bit. Okay. Let's make it a little bit interesting here. Uh, we will uh, go with the lower strength just to get some height difference, like it has become a ridge there. And then we will paint it in a little bit like this. It's not completely wrong. So it's a little bit lower here. Okay, cool. So let's see what we have created. We already have a volcano shape uh, like here. And we have in, in inside of the volcano now. And it just didn't take a lot of time. I'm just looking over here a bit. I've kind of like that it is uh, these variations here and we also have a ridge there. That's cool. So let's start. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm trying to do this as fast as possible so you can get an idea uh, how to work with this. Let's start with 100 and we'll go 0 0.25 and we will actually just go very now I have to kind of paint fast and I locked my frames so I have to do this 30 FPS which is possible but uh, it's, it, it makes it a little bit more difficult of course so As you can see, it goes very fast here when we're working with very big features. Uh, I recommend you to um, to do it in parts so you can always control uh, press control Zeta if you want to. Now I can quite experience when it comes to the whole volcano business as I've done with so on so many islands. This is what's the reason why I. Uh, left uh, this one uh, to last because yes, then I uh, was so used to doing it. So the biggest feature will go very fast. So so let's see here. It's a uh, high there. So let's add a ridge here. And I kind of need to have a smooth. need to have smooth movements, otherwise I need to do smooth lines, otherwise it will uh, make it difficult for me here. So I try to draw them at, sa at the same speed. Of course, we could go in with details here later, but I think is the first part step here is let's make the brush a little bit bigger. The first step is to just get a general idea what we want to do here. Uh, 
let's make one close by. And then you can see like this. So we get that part here. And as you can see, we already got quite good riches here. Uh, we will probably need to go in uh, with some detail work here, as uh, it's not perfect. Uh, but it will help here, as I can see here, we can probably go fatten that up a bit. Let's go with a smaller size and uh, just fatten that up a bit. So yes, it's a lot easier to do work with this. We can get a quite decent result very quickly. And uh, I think we wanted it to have it quite big as this is the big volcano ridge. Uh, one of the things we want to have a lot of more converging ridges. We want them to converge, converse like that, otherwise it will be just be very uniform sized here. And I spin those ones here, so let's try to add a very fat ridge here that will divide into two. Uh, let's see here. Let, we have a, what I'm looking for here is height difference, so we get a natural ridge here. So we got a very natural ridge where it's supposed to be, and then it will divide. Okay, this is a very coarse adjustment here, but yes, I, I'll have two high strength here. Uh, let's see here, let's add a little bit there. You get it here. As you can see, <laughs> it's so easy when you have so big features here, and it will look uh, interesting from here. And then we will uh, add on the inside. So let's try to do that. It will be a, a little bit curved on the inside here because, yes, there used to be a volcano. So it will be like, let me show you. Like this part here, we, we kind of have a smoother inside because there is the volcano part uh, and the uh, lava has overflowed in like that. So yes, we could So let's get a bigger brush. That's too big. Let's go with 200. Going as fast as I can. And start to pull this out with the help of smoothing tool so we get a nice curve. I think this is the best view to do it so it looks kind of like this. Then we have to do a lot of detail work of course but let's see here we have some nice features here which I added with the help of Wilbur before so let's try to keep them there and we have a natural ridge there so let's try to pull it in the same direction as the features here so if I go like this of course we will have to add some ridges but this will make a more natural uh, slope uh, inside the mountain there. It's very coarse here, uh, as you can see here, it's very squarey, but we can go in with some detail work and make it better. But with uh, just a couple of minutes work, it's so much easier to work with one of the bigger, uh, bigger sized mountains here. And as you can see, I'm not really happy about this rounded look. I want it to be kind of flattish on top of it. It probably will be roundabout if we compare it to it here, 
I kind of want it to be flat on top, but not. Uh, it will not. I don't want it to be too much roundish, which is this moving tools crates here. So I have to do a natural one here. Here is a good look here. I have to made it a little bit more pointy, but it's easy to get around it here. It should be a little bit rounded, but it's not too much. Sorry for zooming my camera around too much. But I think... And then we have to... Do some generally here, because the ridges are a little bit too pronounced. So if I go, go in with a 50 size here... Right, size 50. And just it will be more let's do it with a level two so let's grab that value and try to fill that in a bit so we don't get too uh, many it's nice to have some of these features uh, between here but we want it to uh, be a little bit more uniform so it's not too um, so let's just try to smooth the areas between here so it looks like a uniform ridge. Otherwise, it will look, look more like a mountain. And uh, yes, we don't want to look at it as a mountain because it's overflowed here. So let's see here. Fill this out a bit. Well, we have a little bit of work to do here. It's very narrow here, so let's... Uh, let's fill this in a bit like this. A little, little bit. Oh, sorry. I have too uh, too much strength to work here, so let's go with a zero point five and fill it in a bit. And let's grab that value, work it a little bit more. I think I want to have that slope more uniform. So that kind of looks good. I just need to add some ridges here, which I probably think is best off uh, just because it's so flat, so it doesn't look like a mountain feature any longer. I think I will just uh, use uh, up and down tool. <laughs> That's why I call it shift tool. Uh, so let's just add a little bit ridges here, so it, it doesn't look too uniform here. And we have another one there. Let's add a little bit bigger size, I think. And we have a natural lower there, so let's just lower a little bit between the ridges. Just to make it a little bit more natural uh, looking, otherwise it will be so uniform. So it, let, let's show the results. We don't doesn't really see it in this uh, time of the day, but if we change, change the time of the day like this, we can see that we have created some riches there and we still have there. So sometimes it helps to do uh, this whole night time thing just to see here, but you can see here, uh, easily what a difference we have here and it doesn't really look nice there if you compare it to where I've worked a little bit more smoothing the ridges out a bit more so it looks more natural uh, compared to oh no right now I'm assuming yeah uh, sorry <laughs> I assume too much uh, back uh, I so uh, yes I could work with this a little bit more but I just wanted to show you uh, just once again uh, another volcano ridge I think this is the main theme of uh, this map so we'll work I would work between episodes here uh, a bit to create them you can also check out earlier episodes where I have uh, done more detailed work but as you can see uh, we have uh, worked for 20 minutes and we already got a quite decent result uh, going for us here uh, it also makes it easier for me to blend this feature in here uh, on the volcano and uh, 
One of the main things I really want to fix is to make this more uniform so the slopes are not that steep, but just a little bit more uniform there, with exception of here, I think, just because I have something to break it up. But as you can see, uh, this one has a Sorry for zooming in and out too much. Why do I say sorry about Yes, because I just watched a guy uh, yesterday on YouTube that was doing that all the time and it was really irritating. Or so, and I just discovered that I did it myself. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So you, you can see here uh, we have a lot uh, of variation here, but it's still, if we zoom out, as you can see, we can still, we want to be able to identify this as a volcano for a long part. And I think before I, before I quit the episode, I just want to make, show you guys, I think what we, we have to do. Um, let's go with a figure before I quit here because it will be a little bit thicker the longer, the, the longer from the edge the edge uh, let me let me think here the longer from the ridge here uh, where it, the mountain besides it will become fatter because yes that's it kind of works as a vein and as you can see this is a uniform size which makes a nice effect which often have happens in polynesia and stuff i've seen that on photos but just to make it a little let's fatten it up a bit here at the sides the longer it gets and it will look better so let's get a let me show you what I mean so you can see there it's more pronounced in the middle I think I have to shave uh, some of this off here uh, to make it more but it, it looks a little bit more natural than just uh, the same thickness all the way so if you compare it from there, it kind of fades there because it's more pointy and to top because where, where the rain has fallen and uh, it has be, uh, taken away all the uh, things there and it will become thicker the longer down it goes because it's just like water, it seeks down to the lowest possible level and it will become fatter the lava, I think. That's my theory, at least. Uh, so. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was everything for this episode, and as always, thank you for watching.